Hello folks, uh, today's video is on hypothesis tests for the mean of a Poisson distribution. Um, hopefully you remember doing hypothesis tests for a binomial distribution, for the proportion of a binomial distribution last year, uh, and the process for a Poisson distribution is very similar. So we're going to look at how to carry out a hypothesis test, um, we're also going to look at identifying critical regions, uh, which is similar to what we did last year, and finally we'll look at an example that uses approximations. So here's a summary of the steps that we used for the binomial uh, hypothesis tests last year and the same steps apply in the, a, a hypothesis test for the uh, Poisson distribution. So probably worth just pausing the video, having a quick look through these and checking you're okay with them. The example I've set up has got those steps down the left hand side and then space to complete this example down the right hand side. So the example here says accidents used to occur at a certain road junction at a rate of six per month. The residents petitioned for traffic lights. In the month after the lights were installed there was only one accident. Does this give sufficient evidence that the lights have reduced the number of accidents? Use a 5% level of significance. So the first thing we have to do is uh, give our null hypothesis and our alternative hypothesis. So in this case, our null hypothesis assumes that nothing has changed. So the rate is still 6 per month, lambda equals 6. And we're testing to see whether it has reduced, so whether lambda is less than 6. And in this example, x is the number of accidents occurring in a month. Uh, the third step asks us to find out whether our observed value of x um, <clears throat> falls in the critical region. So one way you can do this is just finding the probability of our value of x, which is 1, occurring, or a more extreme value. So in this case, a more extreme value would be less than 1, because 1 is way less than the rate expected here. So we're looking for the probability that x is less than or equal to 1, assuming that the, the distribution is Poisson with lambda equals to, equal to 6. So we can go to our Poisson tables, and if you find the column with x equals, sorry, lambda equals 6, we want to know the probability that x is less than or equal to 1, and so it's going to be this value here, 0.0174. <coughs> So we assume that x follows a Poisson distribution with lambda equal 6, and we can say the probability that x is less than or equal to 1 is 0.0174, or 1.74%. 1 uh, we then have to decide whether that's significant or not, so we compare that value to our significance level, in this case 5%. Uh, in this case, 1.74% is lower than 5%, so we would say that is uh, unlikely to happen if this is true. Hence, we can say there's sufficient evidence to reject the null hypothesis. Or in the context of the question, which we always have to do, um, we could say the traffic lights have reduced the number of accidents. So... Here's a question for you to try, um, have a read through it. I've given you the null hypothesis and the alternative hypothesis, so pause the video, uh, have a go, and then you can look through the solution. Okay, so for this example, um, x is the number of lorries passing the school gates, and we're assuming that x follows a Poisson distribution with lambda equal to 7.5. Um, <clears throat> in the test, there were four lorries, so we would look for the probability of that or more extreme, in this case, less than or equal to four, and using the tables, that comes out to be 0 0.1321. We can compare that to the test 
uh, sorry, the significance level, which is 5%. In this case, it's well above the significance level, so we would say there's insufficient evidence to reject H0. Uh, in other words, there's no evidence of a decrease in the number of lorries passing the gates in a lunch hour. OK, um, now just with just as with the binomial distribution hypothesis tests, we might be asked to calculate critical regions. OK, um, so the method we've just been using is calculating the probability of the outcome or worse or the outcome or more extreme. However, we might be asked instead to find critical regions. And also, just as last year with the binomial distribution hypothesis tests, we could be asked to make the probability in the critical region or regions as close as possible to some value, which hopefully you remember from last year. So this example here um, brings in a few of those ideas. So an office finds that over a long time, Incoming telephone calls from customers occur at a rate of 0 0.325 per minute. They believe that the number of calls has changed recently. To test this, the number of incoming calls during a random 20 minute interval is recorded. Find the critical region for a two tailed test of the hypothesis that the number of incoming calls occur at the rate of 0 0.325 per minute. The probability in both tails should be as close to 2.5% as possible. Okay, so we're not actually asked to carry out the test here, we're just uh, finding the critical regions. So the first thing we do need to say uh, what x represents, so in this case it's the number of calls made in a 20 minute period, and assuming that it's staying at this rate of 0 0.325 per minute, that's equivalent to 6.5 in a 20 minute period. So our null hypothesis is that that is still true. And we're not asked uh, or told specifically whether they think it's increased or decreased, just changed. So our alternative hypothesis is just that it's not equal to that. So it's a two tailed test. Um, we're assuming that x follows a Poisson distribution then with this value of lambda. So we would use the 6.5, lambda equals 6.5 column in our table. And we want the bars on the left hand side, or the pro these probabilities at the lower end, to be as close as possible to 2.5%, or as close as possible to 0.025. Uh, so we can see that it's going to be between these two and a quick bit of mental arithmetic um, you should find that this value is closer to 0 0.025 than this one and hence uh, 1 there would be our critical uh, value okay and our critical region would be probability x that x is less than or equal to 1, or the, the critical region, sorry, is x is less than or equal to 1. We need another critical region at the top end, so we want the probability at the top end to be 0 0.025, or in other words, the probability to the left to be 0 0.975. So it's going to be one of these two, and again, if a quick bit of uh, mental arithmetic, you'll find that uh, this one, is closer uh, however that means that all of these values 12 and above are the critical region okay and if we work the, uh, the probability out there the probability that x is greater than or equal to 12 is 1 minus this and um, which comes out to be 0 0.0339 so our critical regions are x is less than or equal to 1 and x is greater than or equal to 12. And finally, an example using an approximation. So during an influenza epidemic, 4% of the population of a large city was affected on a given day. The manager of a factory that employs 100 people found that 12 of his employees were absent claiming to have influenza. Using a 5% level of significance, find the critical region that would enable the manage, 
sorry, that should say the manager, to test whether there is evidence that percentage of people having influenza in his factory was greater than that of the city and state your conclusion. So, <clears throat> uh, we can start by saying X is the number of people with influenza. Uh, our null hypothesis is that uh, the proportion would be 0 0.04, the same as the uh, city population. Uh, but we're testing to see whether uh, it's greater than that. Uh, we're assuming then that this is true, that X follows a binomial distribution, there's 100 employees, and the probability uh, that they've got influenza is 0 0.04. And we can see there that N is large, N is 100, and P is small. And if we do, if we work out what NP is, then 100 times 0 0.04 is 4, which is certainly less than the 10 that we need for the Poisson approximation to be suitable. So we can say NP is 4, which is less than 10, um, so we can use the Poisson approximation. So our Poisson model would have a... Uh, value of lambda that is NP or 4 in this case and we're looking for the probability that <coughs> uh, or we want yeah, the critical region sorry uh, at the top end okay so if we go to our lambda equals 4 we're looking for a value here that has got 5% above the value uh, so this one would have just over 5% above, this one would have just under, and so <clears throat> we're looking for uh, everything to the right of 8, which is 9 or above. Okay, so our critical region would be x is greater than or equal to 9. <clears throat> um, we then compare our value of 12 to that. Well, 12 is greater than 9, so it, 12 does uh, fall in the critical region, and the manager can conclude that the percentage of people having influenza is larger than the city. OK, so hopefully that's shown you how to do hypothesis tests for the uh, Poisson distribution. Uh, and you'll hopefully be able to have a go at a few questions in the next lesson.